Good morning. It's Monday. Yay. <laughs> I don't know if I really feel that way, but yay. Got to have gratitude for your life, right? So um, I just wanted to talk about the difference between Dharma and Karma. Dharma is that good, that good energy that comes back to you, whereas Karma is the you tempted fates, you messed around, now you have to learn a lesson. So, the way to earn Dharma in your life, be a good person, really simple. Speak good on others, um, encourage them, open doors for people, don't always put yourself first. Quit thinking you're above everybody else or you can control anybody's life or being manipulative and deceptive and stealing and cheating and, you know, don't be a crummy person. So, that's how you get karma, right? Have you thought about that? Have you thought about the way that you present yourself to the world is what you're bringing back to your own world? Because it's very important to understand that even the words you speak on people, rather you're just gossiping, venting out of anger, um, throwing a fit, trying to tear others down, you are actually casting spells on them. When you talk about that person is no good, blah, blah, blah. And like I said, you're gossiping, you're spreading rumors, you're lying. That will come back on you. And be careful because when you go around spreading lies and rumors and, oh, so-and-so is not being honest about how they get their money, things like that. You saying people are doing drugs or hookers or dealing with addictions when they're not. Trying to make that person look bad please understand you will see that in your life and I remember when I was a kid my mom used to say you better be careful what you say about me you're gonna experience it one day oh whatever I didn't believe it she was right <laughs> so if you're wishing ill on somebody you better understand you're gonna face whatever challenge you're trying to present into their life that's where you're getting your karma because you can't go around acting like you're something you're not and expect good things to happen to you. I also remember a few years back, I had this friend in high school that we did drugs together. We were wild children, right? So anyways, after school, we ended up reconnecting and hanging out. And my mom said, um, stay away from her. She's no good. She's never going to change. She's never going to grow. And I had to look at my mom and say, mom, you should always give people the benefit of the doubt and understand the way that you're speaking about her is you projecting that energy onto her. So in all honesty, you're not being a good person by sitting here saying this is who this person is when you haven't even seen them or given them the opportunity to change in their own life. So if you want to start creating uh, Dharma instead of karma, consider finding the good in people consider speaking them up you know oh you're doing a good job quit picking at their faults quit acting out of anger jealousy hatred fear whatever it is stop interacting on a vibrational scale in a negative manner because the more that you put that negativity out there like I said, that's what you're attracting into your life. Don't, don't put yourself in a chokehold due to your own bitterness because it's not going to help you in any way. You're actually creating obstacles for yourself that you're going to have to overcome. And another point is, you might not know who you're messing with. A lot of people will go around and um, they, they sit here and they're used to people that are low vibrational, but when you meet a high vibrational individual and you don't realize that they're high vibrational and you're trying to push negativity onto them and speak their life into destruction, you better understand that a lot of high vibrational people are in tune with a higher power. We have spirit teams. We have light workers surrounding us. So we actually have this bubble that surrounds us and it's just like that saying when when we were young I don't know who all said it I know I did 
but I'm rubber, you're glue, whatever you say bounces off of me and sticks to you. Who knew as a child, we even knew to protect ourselves. So as an adult, when you, when you spend that time um, to be higher vibrational, you know, meditation, grounding, um, positive affirmations, uh, encouraging others, complimenting others, accepting yourself for who you are, loving yourself unconditionally, accepting your failures and faults and finding your strengths. When you're this kind of person, you're actually empowering yourself to have that shield of protection. So if you sit here and you focus on the negative, right? Or you focus on a relationship where you got hurt and instead of finding the lesson in it, you find the fault and the fault's not your own. <laughs> Understand that now you're going to have to learn a lesson. Karma's coming in. So like I said, to go around and say, I'm going to be a good person. I'm going to be loving and compassionate towards others because we're all going through something in this life. We're all struggling in our own way. Some people carry it better. You don't even realize they're struggling. Some people are falling apart. So when it comes to the people that are falling apart, if you're stronger, be there for them. You know, and one thing I've told anybody that I'm around that I'm, I'm uh, connected to that we're in each other's lives on a regular basis and it comes from Forrest Gump, <laughs> you lean on me and I'll lean on you so we don't have our heads in the mud. So if you can find somebody that is supportive of you and you're supportive of them, you um, have this connection that empowers both of you. So when you can sit there and keep picking each other up, and it's like I told my guy, because we fluctuate. One of us will have a bad day, and then the next day the other one's in that mood, and we keep picking each other up. And like I told him, okay, so I see you saw. Now you see I saw. <laughs> we're just seesawing and going back and forth, but we're helping each other not end up with our faces in the mud. And when you can find somebody that's there for you, that will go through your hard days with you, hold on to that person. Somebody that will encourage you when you feel like you've hit rock bottom or you're defeated. Make sure you do that same thing for them. That way you can see and solve. <laughs> that way you can keep helping each other until you're both walking hand in hand and moving forward. Because at this point in our world, a lot of people are waking up to the reality that this is not life. This is not acceptable. There's more to life than this. So we're also in points where karma is coming in for people that they deserve it. And um, dharma is there for people that deserve it. Because you can't go through life being a, a bad person, hiding behind a mask. Because like I've said before, the universe speaks on an energetic level. So you can lie to everyone around you. You can convince yourself you're not a bad person. You can maintain the victim mentality. You can sit here and keep telling yourself, I didn't do anything. What words did you speak out of anger? What kind of conflict did you wish on somebody? You know, as simple as, God, I hope they lose their job, or I hope they can't pay their rent, or, oh, I hope they learn a lesson. Who are you to decide what somebody needs to go through in their life? You're not God. You're not the creator. You have no control over anybody else's life or the outcome that they are going to um, endure. Especially when you're weighing someone else's heart and yours is blackened. You have no right to go around and pass judgment. You can do whatever you want. It's your choice. But understand, as you sit here and you want to keep passing false judgment and hiding behind somebody else saying, oh, I don't do that. They do. And all you're doing is projecting your behavior onto that person, hoping nobody will see your mask fall off. Just understand it's a matter of time. Because karma will serve you exactly what you deserve. I don't need to wish it upon you. No one needs to wish it upon you. You're earning it. So ask yourself, are you on the good foot? Or are you lying to yourself? Because the worst person to lie to is yourself. 
So when it comes down to it, I would say start trying to think about living in the light. Go seek help if you are mentally unstable and all you do is look at other people's lives and you live in jealousy or act out in scorn or hatred because your heart is so dark that the only thing you're doing is bringing more and more karma negative energy coming your way lessons that you have to learn because you can't get out of your ego get out of your ego to start acting more on a spiritual level and start creating dharma versus karma wouldn't you rather have a reward i would think any of us would want a reward instead of a lesson that feels like punishment right so when it comes down to it think about the choices that you're making think about how you are trying consciously or unconsciously to affect somebody else's life if you're living out of anger just know that you are creating um, a world of negativity that now you're going to suffer for so on that note that food for thought think about your actions think about your words think about your thoughts and what you're trying to push on someone else because like I said I am rubber you are glue whatever you say bounces off of me and sticks to you so peace love and light and I will catch up with y'all later have a great day bye bye